Hey guys, John here. So I got done with all of the uh, all the knuckle tools, all engraved with the awesome logo. And I got uh, the owner and founder of Knuckle Tools right here. And uh, so he's just coming to pick them up, and we're gonna anodize a few of them just to play with it and see what uh, see what it does. So I'm gonna hand the camera to him. And so what we got here is a very uh, diluted solution of uh, battery acid, uh, like a 1 to 100 ratio. And then a transformer here, a variable transformer, goes from 0 to 250 volts AC. And then over here is a uh, little custom box with a voltage gauge, a switch, fuse, and a bridge rectifier and a capacitor. And that converts the AC voltage to DC voltage. So in the bath here, I've just got a stainless steel um, cathode wire. So I'm going to apply the negative voltage to that, the black one. And then the part gets positive voltage. Got it hanging from titanium here. Now, what color do we want this one? Mm. What do you think? Uh, pink. Pink? I don't remember what pink was. Um, 84? No. Eight? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's just see it bubble. Alright, so I'm going to dip it in. Alright, can you see it? We'll start with bronze, just because that's a quick one. So if you see over here, I'm going to set it to 15 volts. 16, whatever. And watch the part as I flip the switch. It's working. <laughs> it's starting oh, to bubble. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. There it goes. There it's oh, bubbling. there you go. Look at that. Wow. So I'm going to turn it off. Flip it to 27, which is about blue purplish. And then let's watch it again. And hit the switch. And see some bubbles coming off. It's taking its sweet time, isn't it? Hmm. I guess at this point you don't want to be sticking your finger in the solution or... No. Okay. Saw a hue of blue. It's there, blue. it's blue now. Okay. More bubbles. Yes, bubbles is good. Yep, bubbles means it's working. So this is at 28? Yeah, 28.8, 29, mm -hmm. whatever. Let's check that out. Yeah, it's certainly dark. Yeah, a little oh, bit different. Yeah, kind of a violet blue. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Very consistent. Just gonna rinse it off. Okay, quick rinse. Before, after. <laughs> so go. anodizing titanium is really quick. Yeah. But uh and you can choose whatever color you want based on the voltage. Cool. Now let's do the rest of these. So what do you want? Let's <laughs> pick this one. This is 105. Oh, 105. Okay. You want to take it to 105? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's crank her. Yeah, let's crank her. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take this. So the next range that you really notice is uh, the yellows, which if I remember right is about 50 something. So if you see the voltage, turned it to 50 something. Mm -hmm. It looks like 50 something. That's 50 something. <laughs> okay, 
Can you see that? Yep. Hit the switch, there it goes. Wow, the bubbles just started. And basically when the bubbles slow down, then it's sort of hit its, its mm. peak. Now can you over-anodize something? Well, yeah, you can... Well, you mean leave it in too long? Yeah. No? no? Oh, okay, that's good. It'll set into its color and then... Mm. And that's about it. It's kind of a more pale color. Yeah, it's kind of goldy. Yeah. Crank it up some more. It's about 70. Now at about 85 or so, I got this cool kind of orangey color. Ah. That's 75. That's cool. Mm -hmm. There's about 95. Now this is not something like I would just directly hooked up, hook up to an outlet, right? Yeah. You could? Yeah, it's a grounded outlet, but that orange wire. Oh no, I mean if I was... Oh, like, no, straight from the wall to this? <laughs> no. Yeah. Cause that's uh, that's AC power and oh okay, 120 volts AC, mm -hmm. kind of useless. Oh, but if you converted it straight to DC, mm -hmm. which is what you want, direct current, right? You'd still get you'd get about 145 volts of DC, which is above the color range. Oh okay, well, so you can just go all the way to the top. Yeah, if you just want to go straight to the top. Mm. So that's oh. about 100. That's very nice. Sometimes in the 90s you get a really cool green color, but you can't quite get it with this part. Hmm. So there's 105-ish. Yeah. It likes to creep a little bit, so I like to ah. undershoot it. <laughs> we'll just let that sit. Ooh, totally. It's not quite this color yet, but no. So it takes a bit of time. Sometimes. And, yeah. Just to let it set in. We're getting oh, there. Getting there, yeah. It's, it's yeah, certainly it's... less yellow. Mm. So, and these parts are, are washed in soap water, whereas this one was dirty still. So uh, that might affect the color. Still looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, for such a dirty part, I can't believe it uh, mm. turned out so good. I've done some flame coloring, and eh, yeah, it's not bad, but. If it's dirty, it certainly affects it. Uh, That's good in there. Yeah. Bit by bit. It's not taking too long. <laughs> now it's totally darker. How's that? Oh, hey, there you go. Purple. Kind of purpley. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and one of them, I also did a fade. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, that was cool. I just pulled it out. <laughs> well, so that is anodizing titanium. Sweet. Goes pretty quick. Anodizing aluminum is uh, a good all-day job. Whereas titanium... Oh, it takes longer? Oh, yeah. Wow, no kidding. It takes the whole day to do a batch <laughs> of parts. So you're running this setup all day long just to anodize the aluminum, whereas this only took... This took a seconds. Minute. Yeah. A minute total. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, so that turned out darker. No, oh, that's nice. Yeah, so if you want consistent results, you gotta like... have the same cleanliness level, the same mm -hmm. surface finish, and the same voltage. Mm -hmm. On every single part. But... Consistency. Yep. Nice. Cool stuff. Thank you, thank you.